Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The truth about the Fed's database decision making today, as we await the Federal Reserve's all important decision on whether to raise interest rates by 25 points, or 50 points, or maybe not at all, one thing we know for sure. We're going to hear the phrase data driven decisions a great many times. This is just like in ancient Roman times, when before important actions, especially in battle, the Romans performed animal sacrifices, in order to discover the will of the gods from the information gathered by reading the intestines of the animals, large number of signs intended to express the approval or rejection of the gods. The actual decision was of course based on the will of those responsible. The entrails of the animal were a practical support to accept the final decision. So can also in modern times one database decision making obscures the fact that the economic data fundamentally I am ambiguous. In March 2023, the economy is working in strange ways that we don't fully understand. On the other hand, the fight against persistent inflation must continue while avoiding a hard landing, a recession or even a depression. How much trust should we place in data showing a strong labor market? There is also an urgent need to ensure the stability and security of the entire banking system, after the abrupt collapse of several major banks, thus avoiding a domino effect, where a run on a few banks causes a run on many banks. There is also a need to maintain the credibility of the Federal Reserve itself, which hesitated too long before starting the fight against inflation, and now, some say, must not appear to have lost heart in the fight against it when inflation. Think of Paul Volcker. The Fed will therefore justify every decision it makes with many references to database decision making, though the data used is no more crucial than the guts of the beast decided whether the ancient Roman general should enter the battle. As early as 2014, John Lanchester suggested in the New Yorker that we could also, 